extremists forbidden. The views are of law for and a thought-provoking process and not just an attempt to contradict popular beliefs. Vulgar, hateful or obscene comments may or may not be removed and slash or may be followed up by the channel, subscribers, friends and visitors in the rightful earnest. Life, Soul, God and the Universe It is more theory and speculation. We have already examined the concepts of the God, matter and life in other videos and articles. We know that God's matter transformed itself and created life. When the life is out of the being, his whole universe dies forever. When the life dies out of the whole universe, the God recreates the universe improving on his last attempt to create the perfect life form in the universe. Here we must remember that we have already established the concept of God, the matter and life. Now let us examine the much sought after concept of soul that is the essence of life as deduced by advanced life forms like humans. Human largely believe that soul is the carrier of life and as the soul departs from the body the life extinguishes out of the body or the human die. Now it is logically extrapolated to believe that all living beings worth their salt carry a soul within their body. Now let us look at it more closely. Human life is propagated through the DNA. To propagate human life DNA is encapsulated in a sperm cell or egg. Each sperm cell or egg on earth or elsewhere has a unique DNA chemical molecule or DNA fingerprint. Each unique DNA sequence of the life is a unique design of God's life on this earth and the universe. Now having looked at life it is safe to assume that life is granted only once. A DNA sequence is made live only once in this cyclic universe. Rebirth is not possible, as the same sequence of DNA can never arise again unless its father's sperm and egg made again. It shall never be possible as DNA always keeps changing when the life is present in the being and no sperm cell or egg can ever meet once again in this universe. Even if humans clone themselves and say, I am reborn again, they had just created a mirror image of themselves condemned facing the same fate of death. It is safe to assume that the life is most precious in the universe. It is granted only once in the whole life of the universe. Rebirth is not possible from any point of view. Once the life is gone, the body gets destroyed but the sequence of DNA molecules still retain their identity in a way that is beyond human comprehension. When the gigantic universe starts to finally collapse and is compressed in a black ball the DNA sequence of the life and soul still retains its identity in the form of transformed DNA molecule and each individual soul in the whole lifespan of the universe retains its identity as a unique DNA molecule to which the soul will attach. When the time halts in the universe the souls commit no more and the day of judgment arrives for each of the soul. Each soul has an interaction with the God and it goes on for an eternally long time. Then with the Big Bang, the universe is created again and life get ready to propagate again. The soul of life is free to modify its DNA sequence only during its lifetime. Once the life is gone all souls are condemned to wait for a liberation eternally long time until the universe is recreated again. Souls modify their DNA by learning to take actions to live on and to react to the action of other life forms. The souls modify its DNA sequencing by modifying genes attached to it. Genetic traits are acquired by learning to take actions and by acquiring skills and knowledge. It is same process by which likeness of the father is given to sons. The soul is allotted only one life for a universe recycling. A soul is chained to its DNA sequence. A soul cannot propagate its DNA to life again without the corresponding sperm cell and that that are granted only during the lifetime to the soul or once for a hell of a long time. Even with the help of egg and sperm only half of each DNA sequence can propagate itself. Here is why, some humans so emotionally think sometimes that creating another DNA sequence, or child, is a union of two souls. 
Even if one clones oneself to life till times eternal there shall still be a time when it shall no longer be possible for the one to clone oneself and one soul will finally depart the body. Fluid containing sperm is actually excretion of body that should be regularly removed from the body for proper functioning of life. The chemical release occurring in the brain at the time of arousal and ejaculation or sexual release actually sends a feedback to the brain about the well-being of the life. The genetic code in the life's DNA is continuously upgraded in blood and tissues by gray matter in the brain. All acquired skills and knowledge by life, human or else, are encoded by the gray matter in the genes that are attached to the DNA molecule. Sperm is the vehicle of DNA that propagate itself and sperm has no other importance. The chemical release that is associated with sexual act is important to the well-being of the soul. When the DNA upgraded blood flows back from the brain to the miles-long very fine blood vessel maze in male testes, this DNA information is imprinted in the sperm cell for propagation. This is a continuous process. This process of imprinting of DNA into sperm cell is different from modification and enhancement of DNA by gray matter in the brain. All holes in the body are meant for excretion while some are primarily used for input. Fortunately no important thing like blood has a place to leak out of the body. Head has many holes but gray matter in the head never leaks out while living. There is no point holding up body's excretions and to think that intelligence or wisdom will dawn life after life by holding sperm in the body. When a soul departs the body its resting place is the matter of its own body. The soul subsequently are resting in their sun slash star turned black hole when the planetary system is destroyed. Final resting place of all souls is the black ball of the collapsed universe ready for the reckoning by God. Souls are down to their DNA sequencing molecule. One molecule of DNA may be a complete definition of the soul. All souls are eternally chained to their DNA sequencing until the God examines their deeds. The God will put your DNA molecule chip into his computer and you will start singing the story of your life. The God will examine each soul for its deeds and this will go on for a very long time while time will patiently wait and halt in the immense black ball of the collapsed universe. Then with a big bang, the God will release all souls, free in the universe again after their purification in an eternal fire of salvation. God shall be able to recognize molecules of DNA from others such as God, silver and copper molecules. God studies your soul, makes a tweak here or there to your DNA molecule and you are ready to go again. The God holds himself responsible for actions of the life that has arisen out of his matter. The God is ever forgiving to all the life and gives a chance to everyone to improve. Ultimately, what the God may be looking for is to create a universe that will never collapse and will live on forever. But the power of dark will always pull the universe down and will keep the god busy. The power of dark is acronym to light of truth. Efforts to promote falsehood over truth ultimately prevail in the universe and the universe falls under the weight of falsehood. Why the falsehood is promoted over truth? Why the truth is hidden under many garbs? Why the life cannot face the plain truth instead of chewing on it? is a mystery to the God and that is what he is trying to resolve by creating this universe over and over again. The life lag motto of the survival of the fittest. It is but natural because that is what the life is. Life is to survive but when the life becomes smart enough it tries to hide truth from others. Fixes a cost to knowing each truth and ultimately blatantly start promoting falsehood over truth. Then the God who always sees but waits intervenes and stops the propagation of life by collapsing the universe and sets to examine the souls of life. The God does not issue any sentences. He gives a chance to improve to everyone. You are free to do anything but your actions shall be encoded into your DNA and your soul shall be chained to it. Your actions will always result as appropriate logical conclusions at some point of time. 
If you refuse to learn and keep making the same mistakes your soul will meet the same fate every time it comes to life and you shall not be able to do anything else in the life. Stay away from falsehoods of the world. They come in all shapes, colors and sizes. There is a good one falsehood for each occasion. Continue to be guided by falsehoods. Wander into dark and bring misery to yourself and to the human race by bringing its average intelligence down. Choose the truth and the life shall be full of divine light. Please leave your comments with the video. Thank you. Please visit our Earth.net.